Hello my friends, I am Haragopal Datto. I have secured uh, All India Rank 6 in Plant Science yeah. GRF 2020. I have completed my BSc degree from Vidhan Chandra Krishi Vishwa Vidalaya Mohanpur, Nodia. Uh, as you know that Plant Science uh, syllabus is very vast. So we have to cover uh, various subjects in Plant Science group like Genetics, then plant budding, then plant pathology, then microbiology, then seed science, plant physiology, and general agriculture. Now comes to the subject genetics. This is the most important and very basic subject of plant science group. Uh, there are uh, so many high level books regarding this subject, but you should follow genetics by BD Singh uh, for GRF purpose. You should cover all the uh, chapters of genetics in BD Singh except few chapters like cell cycle, uh, molecular uh, mechanism of recombination, then genetics of um, cancer, human genetics and uh, genetics of differentiation and development, lytic and lysogenic cycle etc. And uh, you should give special emphasis on the chapters uh, like cytogenetics, uh, Mendelian genetics, mutation, molecular genetics etc <clears throat> you should follow appendix uh, to cover the uh, scientist name and their discovery and uh, you should follow uh, genetics made easy by colony publishers to uh, read thoroughly the molecular genetics and now plant breeding plant breeding is the most fast uh, subject in this group but for GRF purpose you should follow essentials of plant breeding by Fundan Singh. You should go through this book uh, very thoroughly and in details and you should follow the tables and the appendix in this book and in the book uh, plant breeding methods and principles and methods by BD Singh uh, you need not to cover all the chapters in this book you should cover very specific chapters like chapter 1 to 7, chapter 22, chapter 23, 32 to 36 and heterosis and IPR this chapter you should uh, read very thoroughly and for um, biometrics chapter you should follow genetics objective genetics and plant breeding by Fundan Singh and you should clarify your concept regarding the chapter plant biotechnology and molecular markers and mapping population etc in case of plant pathology the basic book is uh, textbook of fungi bacteria and viruses by ac dube you should carefully read this book in details and uh, for mycology the important topic is uh, fungi classification their taxonomic characteristics and basic mycology for virology uh, you should cover the important viral diseases their causal organism and their families and their um, vectors uh, carriers and their mode of dispersal and their management and for principles of plant disease management you should uh, cover uh, pathogenesis infection cycle epidemiology etiology and the plant host um, defense mechanism etc from your class notes and for mcq purposes you must go through the youth paul kumar bhattacharya uh, book thoroughly and very carefully you should uh, cover all the MCQs uh, and you should make revision very uh, carefully in these MCQs uh, because uh, these MCQs are most coming in the chair of exam and uh, in the end of this book there are several lists of plant diseases their courage causal organism and scientists their discoveries discoveries etc you should very thoroughly read this book and in case of microbiology you should follow um, microbiology book Pelgier first 1 to 8 chapters and uh, physical and chemical therapeutic agents chapter and last few chapters regarding food and industrial microbiology and you should follow uh, uh, another book um, introduction to 
Microbiology by Toro Kapoor, Toro and Kapoor and Jadav. In this book, you should cover first one, uh, first and second chapter and last few chapters regarding food and industrial microbiology. And you should carefully read the all the tables and appendix in this book. Uh, and in case of uh, seed technology, uh, you should follow your class notes and uh, the book uh, Seed Technology P K Agarwal and the book. Uh, seed technology by RL Agarwal for various seed production technologies, practices and their methodologies and various instruments used in seed production purposes. And in case of plant physiology, you should cover the chapters like cell, uh, photosynthesis, respiration, uh, plant water relationship and photoperiodism nitrogen metabolism, vernalization, uh, etc. from the book Vikajen or Pandesina and you should cover MCQs at the end of these chapters very carefully. And in case of economic botany, you should follow the class 12 uh, biology book and you can follow the unground notes, uh, TNU notes, IRI seniors notes. Uh, these are very much helpful. In case of biochemistry, you should cover carbohydrate, protein, fat, vitamins, minerals from your class notes and you can also follow uh, Njiranga uh, PDF that is very much helpful for GRF purpose and uh, for general agriculture purpose, you have to read Nimra Sunda very thoroughly because each and every word from Nimra Sunda is very much important in GRF and um, there are so many objective books by mainly you have to follow the books like uh, objective genetics by bd singh and bk prashad objective plant breeding by bd singh and bk prashad uh, objective agriculture by sr kantoa and instant plant science by santosh kumar plant science at a glance by ajit kumar singh and objective plant science by S.B. Sai Prashad and previous year question set book G. Pothiraj and a seed science uh, objective book by um, P. Srimathi and T. Ramanandan etc. These, these books are very much helpful. Uh, my suggestion for my juniors and JRF aspirants that first uh, if you study basics books very thoroughly, very clearly then you need not to follow any objective books because nowadays question comes from very depth, very conceptual. So you need not to uh, follow any objective books. So first of all, you clarify your concept uh, and the terminologies regarding uh, genetics, plant breeding and uh, plant pathology, you should clarify, uh, you should make concept about these terminologies and side by side, you should follow uh, the current affairs because nowadays one to two questions comes from Mm, current affairs and second thing I suggest you that you should study in group that study uh, group study will enrich your knowledge better because uh, it is not possible uh, to read every topic every books from every uh, topic we cannot cover but uh, group study that will make perfect your knowledge and third thing you should uh, make revision many times because uh, revisions make you more stronger make you more confident uh, during your answering the questions and uh, especially my suggestion that uh, the entire thing that you have read in your UG courses that is the important but more important that more important thing is uh, when you are giving your GRF exam, that two hour, that 120 minutes is the critical time in your life because if you um, become more excited or you become nervous in that time, that may lead to your uh, rank very uh, lag behind. So, you should very cool during the exam time. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Agri Study uh, who uh, give me such a uh, platform to share my views and strategy that I have followed during my um, exam preparation time. And lastly, I would like to thank my teachers, my seniors, my friends. Uh, without their inspiration, their help, I cannot succeed. So thanks to all of them. Thank you.